In this video, I'll cover the difference between deactivating and deleting a user and a technician. So I'm starting on the sales work orders page. I've filtered the dates for a couple of months and I've picked my own user and technician name. So you can see how everything is displayed. Now I do have quite a few missed and completed jobs. As I click over to more current dates, you'll notice that there should be some here that are scheduled. None. All right, let's see. Let me open this date up to April 30th. Okay, so that starts there. All right, perfect. So here I can see that there are jobs that are on the calendar or in the work pool under my technician name. So once I deactivate my user by going to Settings, Users and Routes, and I click on my name, and I mark this active user, basically inactive, by unchecking that, and then Update. You'll notice on the list, my name goes down to the bottom. I can reactivate it by clicking the button. But I also wanted to go back to that work order list and show you how that would impact the work orders. So filtering this again back to December 1 through the end of April, this point now, my name shows up and it's inactive. And I can hit filter. So everything is still there, but I can't log into the system. I can't access the work orders as a user on the account, but all of the jobs are there. Now, if I go ahead and I'm going to identify one of these. So this is commercial food plant for April 28th. If I delete my user. If I go back down here and delete and hit OK and go back to the work order screen. When I look for the commercial food plant, my technician is gone, the work order is still there. So it's not deleting that actual job, but my technician link is there. That will impact all of my history as well. So anything that technician completed, it will no longer have the license information technician name. So it cuts out that connection entirely. If you have deleted a technician, but intended to deactivate them, the best way to remedy that is to go to Settings, Users and Routes, add in the technician as a user again, and put them on as a tech, active, select this again so it's unassigned and actually here I can, don't even need to mark them active and add user. So once I do that they aren't an active user but the information will be there, their license number, their name, etc. And when I go back to that work order and that was for the food plant in April it'll have the technician assigned to it back again. 